All right. As, as Rock Mount guys, one of the most important things for us to do when we're working with our, with our uh, customers is help them to identify the type of metal that they're actually working on. Um, there are a couple of different ways to do this, uh, and, and really it, it really adds a lot of value to your ability as a rep uh, to help your customers to identify what, what exactly are they repairing. Uh, one, of the, one of the things to, to do that is just a magnet. You can take a magnet and you can determine what kind of steel it is by the strength of that magnetic pull. A low carbon steel will have a very strong magnetic pull, but a stainless steel will have no magnetic pull because there's almost no carbon in it. Um, other alloys can sometimes uh, make it less magnetic. A manganese steel will have a slight magnetic pull. So sometimes if you, you stick it on a piece of steel and you get a little bit of magnetic pull, but not like you would on a regular piece of steel, that's probably a manganese steel. So knowing those kind of things helps you to apply the correct alloy to uh, the repair that you're, you're doing. Uh, but another way for you to determine what kind of metal you're working with is what's called spark testing. Spark testing is done with a, with a grinding stone. You can't use a cutoff wheel or a flat wheel, so use a grinding stone. And what you're looking for is when you grind on these metals, you look for the pattern of the sparks, you look for the quantity of the sparks, and you look at the color of the sparks. So I'm going to start with just a, just a regular low carbon steel. This, this horseshoe right here on, on this, uh, this little uh, variety of metal stick that we've got to do this demonstration that is, is a low carbon steel horseshoe. Okay, go ahead and come on up and kind of focus in on it. Now, we're gonna start with a low carbon steel, this horseshoe right here, and we're gonna hit it with the grinder. Now, what I want you to watch for is the pattern and the color of the sparks, okay? And you don't have to grind long, just a second. What you saw with the low carbon steel is it the sparks were yellow and it kind of fanned out, okay? So when you grind on a low carbon steel, you're gonna have kind of a wide spray and it's gonna fan out. Now we're gonna move over to this bolt. This is a grade five bolt, so that's more like a medium carbon steel. Now watch the sparks on this one. As you add carbon to your steel, what you begin to see is the spray is still wider, but it starts to look kind of like a starburst. So the more starburst that you have, that indicates a higher amount of carbon in the steel. Okay, now we're gonna do this, this piece of the crowbar, which is, a, which is a higher carbon steel, okay? So looking at those sparks, you saw there was a lot of that starburst kind of effect that you were seeing, and you also saw that the spray pattern was a little, it wasn't as much of a fan. That indicates that the material is harder, but it also indicates that there's a, there's a higher carbon content in, in this. Now we're gonna come over to this piece of tool steel, this, uh, this reamer right here, and we're gonna show you that one. Once again, a much higher carbon content in this steel, much harder steel. You saw a lot more starburst when we ground on that. So that's, that's kind of the variety of carbon steels uh, and how you kind of determine, what, is it a mild steel? Is it a medium carbon steel? Is it a, is it a high carbon steel? <clears throat> you can also spark test other types of material to kind of determine, sometimes guys that are working with a casting, they don't know whether it's cast iron or cast steel. Um, and spark testing for cast iron is a great way to determine, is it cast iron or cast steel? Um, we saw what uh, what cast what hardened steel, high carbon steels look like. Uh, now let's take a look at what cast iron looks like. This is a piece of cast iron. What you see when you grind on 
on cast iron is there's a lot less spark coming off of that cast iron. Additionally, the sparks are, are more reddish in color. That, that helps you to determine whether or not it's cast iron or cast steel. If the span is short, there are not as many sparks, and it's more reddish in color, that's a cast iron piece. If the fan is, is broad and, and more yellowish in color and puts out a lot more sparks, that's probably a cast steel. Now, not all stainless steels will look shiny, but sometimes they're stainless steel and you, and you, want, to, you want to determine. You can determine that by doing a spark test as well. Watch this. So what you saw when, you're, when you do a spark test on stainless steel is very few sparks. Um, and that has to do with the, with the high nickel content in the stainless steel. It's a hard material, so it moves less material. But very few sparks and a little bit of starburst on the end of that. That can help you determine stainless steels. Um, as I said, not all stainless steels look like stainless steels when they've been out working a lot. So sometimes it's important to be able to identify that. Now we're going to do... Uh, uh, a piece we're going to grind on Zeta. Uh, this is a this is a piece of a Zeta plate, just so that you can kind of determine that. As Larry Brown would say, that stuff is harder than woodpecker lips. You grind on it, there was very little spark coming off of it, very little red. That indicates a high chrome content that gives it a lot of hardness. And that's something that, that is of real value for you to know. So you can know what each of these metals look like and you can kind of determine a little bit about their alloy content by doing a spark test.